So what is remote infrastructure management? So the remote infrastructure management is nothing but the same IT infrastructure management, the same IT infrastructure. You do day to day monitoring and management of IT infrastructure from a remote, okay, from a remote. So you are, you don't need to be on site or on the space or on the space there. You can provide all these monitoring and management activities from a remote location. So what are the various things that need to be there in, in order to in order for you to provide these services? You need to have a remote operation center. They call it by various names. They call it as network office name, they call it as they call it as global command center, they call it as a, they call it as operation center. So you need to have a facility where you have people sitting and you have people sitting and remotely connected either through wide area networks, through wide area networks using uh, VPN connect, uh, VPN using uh, direct link through which they can access the remote infrastructure and then monitor and manage that remote infrastructure. You need to have the data on voice connectivity because you need to do administrative activities, you need to monitor the infrastructure, you need to manage the infrastructure. You need to have voice connectivity because you need to help the business users in case they are running to any infrastructure related problems. You need to have, the most important part is, you need to have enterprise managed to have enterprise managed where these tools you use in order to monitor and manage and provide um, metrics in terms of how you are doing with respect to your service. You need enterprise management tools and obviously remote services. Now, these are the basic components of the remote infrastructure management. Structure management. So there are certain things, uh, I'm sure that people who are sitting in the end are not able to see this, but not everything can be managed remotely. Only 80% of the infrastructure management activities can be managed remotely. Remaining 20% need to have on-site presence. So what are these activities? You, when you want to do a hardware replacement, when you need to do a specific component request, or when you need to do change the tapes, or when you when you need to repair certain parts, when you need to provision certain systems, when you need to install certain systems, when you need to um, upgrade the hardware. So some of the activities cannot be done remotely. But the beauty is 80% of the activities can be very well managed remotely which includes system administration, the email network and storage administration, to do uh, database administration, configurations of network components, configuration of servers, many activities which actually need to be done on a day-to-day -day, day -day basis can be very effectively done uh, using remote management techniques. So, why, why did these things happen now. Why is remote infrastructure management gaining pace today? It was not there 10 years ago. It is happening very rapidly in the last 3 to 4 years. There are two specific reasons. When you have the connectivity which you need to establish between the place where the data center or the infrastructure is and your remote center, you need telecom connectivity. 20 years ago, or 15 years ago, or even 10 years ago, or even 10 years ago, so if you want the data to be, the data part of money, and that would not be economically feasible to have this remote infrastructure, but to have this remote infrastructure. Telecom cost has significantly reduced the economies in this particular aspect so that it becomes feasible to us. The second aspect is the second aspect is a concern that when you are doing the remote infrastructure management, how do you guarantee to guarantee the data which had to move ten thousand miles away or five thousand miles away? Because earlier all these centers, all these had to transfer the data from the infrastructure management infrastructure area to the remote management area. 
But now, with the enterprise management tools becoming available, you literally don't have to transfer any data. You can just remotely log on, the management tools can be deciding at the on-site location, to on-site location, have a console sitting and then you can just monitor and manage without any need to transfer the data from one location to another location. These two factors have really two factors have real of remote infrastructure management. So now let us look at what kind of market size this infra remote infrastructure management has. Well, there are four models of infrastructure outsourcing. Infrastructure outsourcing is called the total outsourcing. Where it, uh, this was done by the IBMs, the EDS uh, of, the, uh, of these companies, where they completely outsourced IT, which means that the assets will be owned by the uh, partner companies, the people will be owned by the partner companies, and the complete IT is handled by the outsourcing company. The second one was hosting, in which you just host the infrastructure. You provide the data centers where hosting is provided. So that is one type of infrastructure outsourcing. The other two areas which gained phase in the last five to ten years is just the infrastructure management, where the infrastructure is actually owned by the customer. The hosting is either at the third party or at the data center owned by the customer. You just outsource the infrastructure management. You just outsource the activities which you need to do to keep the lights on, to keep the infrastructure working continuously, making the business.